Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to do a Z pass in Lightwave 3D. Um, there's actually two ways you could do a Z pass, but I'm going to show you the way where uh, you can actually have full control of the depth of field for your Z pass. And you can reverse it in Lightwave very easily. You can go from black to white or white to black. So, what we're going to do is open our layout in Lightwave 3D. Then we're going to import our file, uh, an object file. We go to load, load object here, and we're going to load, well, I'm going to load this mountains that I worked on in uh, Vuz. It's a really cool program where uh, you can uh, make landscape. And let's, uh, Get the camera close that way we can get a good depth of field and let's check that out let's go to our renders tab right here and we want to render a frame because we just want to see a frame how it looks and that's perfect good and we'll switch this to uh, camera view now because we want to see what's going on so we need to add a Z pass because we want to add other elements when we transport this to After Effects, such as um, fire and dust particles, or anything you can think of that could uh, blend in to the background. And so what we gotta do now is go here to our window, go to volumetric and fog options backdrop thing what we're gonna do is uh, change the background here and then we're gonna click we're gonna turn the background white and then we're gonna go to our volumetrics tab we're gonna turn on the linear here at our fog type that's okay don't worry about how it looks and we're gonna use the backdrop color. It's all white. But we're not done yet. So now we gotta add like a black tone to our item. And see here, right now we're on the camera view. So we need to make our object active. So we go here, objects, and it's already got our mountain selected. And we can either click Shift P or just click, uh, click on this tab right here. And then we go to our render tab here and this will affect the object. And then we'll click on matte object. It's gonna turn it black. And you're gonna see why we need that. So after we do that, now we're gonna increase the uh, max distance let's see and still not not good enough let's increase it more still not good there we go that's better see that now we have our Z pass see how it goes from dark to light that's gonna help us out on a long run and we can control it here this is how we control our Z pass we can and if we want to reverse this all we really have to do is change the uh, backdrop here and then on our properties of the object we just turn this white easy we just reverse it and then once we do that we have our different zebra so let's do it let's reverse it we're gonna turn this white okay and we're gonna turn this black okay and here we have the opposite. 
It actually looks better like this. You can tell more. But instead of increasing now the uh, max density, now we're going to lower it because this will also give us the density that we need. The depth. I'm sorry. There we go. And here we have our Z depth. This is what we're gonna see. That's how you create a Z pass here in Lightway 3D. And if you wanna know how to export it, just look at my other video, how to export Z pass on Lightwave. And I hope you learned something here. Like and comment, tell us how we're doing and we'll see you next time.